think my last video I was doing the the tile on this roof. This building. Let me get my chair here. I'm gonna sit down. I'm exhausted. This is something I was building for. Uh, I was kind of thinking about getting into War Machine, and uh. I didn't have the money to buy any models, but I had a bunch of trash, so I started making some terrain. Just a, like a little Tudor building. But it's kind of... Oh, that window thing right there is killing me. It's kind of a... What's the word? Steampunk. A little bit. It was like this uh, hatch... Maybe you'll look up at this look up in the space. We got some exhaust kind of things coming out, this big line coming in. But it's just uh foam core and balsa wood. The brickwork is just foam core with one one side of the paper peeled off. And then the bricks were etched in. You can see a rhino or a you know, tank thing. You guys recognize it? It's a lot of balsa wood. I, I don't know. I start these things and I, I put way too many windows on them. I just I regret it because there's so many to do when I finally start doing it. But I think it's, I guess it's worth it. But once I got to the door, I think I kind of blew it on this because I was going for the steampunk kind of sci-fi fantasy look. And I just threw on some techno plastic door thing. I think it's kind of lame. But anyway, oh jeez, bust in half. The roof comes off and the interior's got nothing in it. There's nothing in it because I, st I started building a, I think I had a bookshelf and a bed and I'm like, wait a minute, I don't. I'm building a dollhouse here. That's not what I'm after. So it's just an empty house. An abandoned... Uh, astronomer's house. Something. I don't know, I'll finish it one day. It's pretty cool though. And then... This is kind of interesting. I don't know if anyone's ever tried anything like this, but... I drew, I drew this paint in, in, uh, in paint. I drew this piece of terrain in paint, Microsoft Paint. I kind of drew the pieces and then printed them out on a cardstock and then glued the cardstock on some thicker paper, card paper. It's this brown stuff that you guys might see in some of my videos. I build a lot of stuff out of this thick brown uh, card. It's a veterinary brochure box. or. Uh, thing I got a bunch of a long time ago and I just drew it out and printed it and it's kind of you layer it up 3d kind of style and I think it looks pretty cool a little entrance to an underground you know I imagine like a you walk right in and there's a staircase that goes down to the ground but, and it's cool because if you if you do something like this you could save the file and you could reproduce these over and over again you could do all kinds of stuff I think this would also look cool like the shape you know, on the side of a building, a couple of these lined up on the side of the building. You get a lot of detail in them that way. And uh, here's something else that I kind of did in the same method. Just a little staircase and, and a little balcony type thing. It's the same thing. I just drew it, printed it out, glued it on some harder stuff, and glued it together. The staircase is kind of two pieces on each side. I drew one one, one piece just has the stairs and then another piece that's slightly smaller and then when you glue them together it gives you a perfect type of uh, way to build steps. And then from the inside of these when you cut these out carefully with your uh, exacto knife you end up with these 45 degree angles. You get a bunch of them. A bunch of little 45 degrees. You can use those to uh, support things like little walkways that you glue on. Make the corners square. Support some steps. You know. 
pretty cool. The only problem is it's incredibly fragile. It's just paper, you know. It's like, you know, cardboard. You know, I don't think this would last too much. Last too long. With a bunch of little geeks running around. Throwing dice at it. So, I think that's about it. Oh, no, there's one more thing. One more thing. Uh, let's go with the chaos type stuff. This is... Uh, I sculpted this out of this stuff right here. Super sculpty. It's a, um, a ceramic-like sculpturing compound. It's an oven baking clay. It never dries out. I don't know. I've had this. I've had some of this stuff for a long time, and it never dries out. It gets dirty really easy. It picks up all the dirt from anything it touches, so you have to really watch out. But it lasts a long time. It's easy to sculpt. You can bake it and then sculpt over what you've already baked. Add more. You know. I made these demon living terrain. These are like bubbling out of the ground with mouths. They look like, well, you guys can make your own, use your own imagination of what they look like. There's eyeballs poking out everywhere and mouths and teeth. Kind of looks like a frog. And then this one I started painting, but I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this crazy Pepto-Bismol pink color but I think you wash it with some with some red and purples and paint the eyes correctly in the teeth it'll really look cool this one's just eyes there's no mouth on this one pretty creepy looking but I'll, I'll keep a video I'll make another video on how those turn out so there you go some train projects Hope you guys dug it. I will be making updates for uh, hopefully all these projects. I want to get them all done and maybe put them up for sale. If anyone might be interested in buying some of this crap. <laughs>